to another video of under 5 minute series. Here we try to learn a concept in less than 5 minutes. The topic for today is types of carbon steel. In our previous videos, uh, we have already discussed about carbon steel. So here we will talk about the different types of carbon steels. So as we all know, carbon steel, the major element which comes into picture, which dictates the properties of carbon steel is carbon. Let's talk about the classification. Carbon steels are mainly classified as low carbon steels, medium carbon steels and high carbon steels. This classification is solely based on the percentage of carbon content. So low carbon steel will have low carbon content, medium carbon steel will have a bit higher and high carbon steels have the highest carbon content. Now let's look at all these three separately so that we'll have an idea about low carbon steels, medium carbon steels and high carbon steels. In general, the carbon percentage is somewhere around 0.3% for low carbon steels medium carbon steel the carbon percentage ranges between 0.3 to 0.7 and in case of high carbon steels if the percentage of carbon is more than around 0.7 or 0.8 we call it high carbon steel so let's have a look at low carbon steels first low carbon steels as i've already mentioned low carbon steels the percentage of carbon is less than 0.3% Fun fact, this is more popularly known as mild steel. Now these, since the percentage of carbon is very low, these cannot be hardened by heat treatment. So what we go for in case of hardening these kind of steels, we either go for cold working or we go for case hardening. Well, since the percentage of carbon is very low, these steels have outstanding ductility and toughness. Also, they are highly machinable, weldable and are relatively inexpensive. They have good weldability. Well, the reason for this is again low carbon content. Now, as we add carbon, steel gets harder, but then this hardness, but it comes with a demerit. The demerit is that it is easily prone to cracking when we attempt to weld it. So as we move towards medium carbon and higher carbon steels, weldability decreases. So yeah, let's talk about the applications. Low carbon steels are often used in automobile body components. These are also known as structural steels. So they are used in structural shapes such as I-beams, channel, angle, they are also used for construction in some bridge components also and also in pipes and food cans. Moving on to medium carbon steels. Well, the carbon content in these steels is in a range of 0.3 to 0.7%. Since the carbon percentage has increased, so these are steels whose properties can be altered by heat treatment means as we increase the carbon percentage heat treatment of steels can be done at an easier level so if you want to increase the mechanical properties of these kind of steels we go for a heat treatment now this heat treatment gives them a martensitic microstructure too now these steels are the most balanced when you compare between low carbon steels and high carbon steels. They have more strength as compared to low carbon steels because of higher carbon percentage. But then this strength comes at the expense of ductility and toughness. Medium carbon steels have good wear resistance because again carbon percentage is increased. Now let's look at applications. Medium carbon steels are often used for railway tracks. They also find their application in train wheels, crankshafts, gears, machinery parts. 
let's know a bit about high carbon steels again these steels have a carbon content greater than 0.7 percent now as we have more carbon content means these are the most easily heat treatable ones but then since the carbon content is also high they already have increased strength or enhanced mechanical properties so out of the three carbon steels it has the highest hardness and also because of higher carbon content it has the highest strength but then with increase in carbon percentage we have a loss we have these steels have lowest ductility looking at the application part of these they are very specific like they are used for applications which are highly specific where you require high strength hardness and wear resistance for example wear parts say knives saw blades gear wheels tool steels and die steels are also high carbon steels because in those also the percentage of carbon is greater than 0.7 percent so that's all about the classification of carbon steels Happy learning guys.